How's it going, boys and girls? It is Spartan Bama here with the Six Mil Show. A our first one back for a couple of months on hiatus due to the fact that uh, everything's been on lockdown. I'm joined with my compadre and IC One of Team Spartan Grimlock. How's it I going, am buddy? The captain now. You, I am the captain. Look at me. I am the captain now. Uh, we hopefully be joined a little bit later on by a couple of other peoples, Stitch and Sabrus, hopefully, going forward. But uh, at the moment, you're just stuck with me and the bearded one for the time being. So uh, how, how have you been uh, with, with with the lockdown at the moment, Grim? I have, we do chat online, but uh, just uh, how things have been going with you in general? Oh, how, how, you've, how have you been? Well... Let's just say I could probably write one hell of a shitty novel <laughs> over of, of what's happened. I mean, you're all aware of everything. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not. Grimlock, my experiences old. with lockdown. <laughs> a five-part <laughs> epic saga. <laughs> Eat your heart out, Star Wars. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Well, you know, well, we got we got back to um, playing. Um, was it last week? What oh, God, the other time yep. still doesn't. One week ago today. Time well, we still doesn't seem to fit right, even though I've been working at home myself. Uh, just a little weird. At um, Can we say the place? They were a little concerned about backlash, weren't they? But I think everything's got back to normal in the airsoft world. So um, It was just a local site to us. Yes, one of our local sites that we've been many times. If you catch um, the Spartan Airsoft channel, Spartan Airsoft UK, or my own personal channel, uh Bambi Airsoft. There's a couple of videos on there. Uh, you'll probably be able to ascertain which one we went to. But uh, whew, first things first, though. Damn, was it hot! Oh, <laughs> do you remember the NWAF last year? Yeah, it was like that. In fact, it was it's around at the same time as the NWAF from last year, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. If pe people who don't know what NWAF is, it is a local airsoft festival. I had its first annual outing last year. This year's was cancelled for obvious reasons, but the weather was the same. I think, I think we've we we have at least one game a year since we started where the the heat has been um, detrimental to our health. Um, and the experience last week, it was a combination of not playing for ages, so being unfit and unhealthy. Anyway, <clears throat> despite all the exercise I've been doing. We're fat and out of shape. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Although I've lost a few pounds over the lockdown, which is good. Um, sorting I, I, out... I lost a few pounds, but that was purely because I spent it out my wallet. Yeah. Um, sorting out new kit and new loadouts, because we brought, I brought my GGAK, and we both brought an Eco <laughs> One, Echo One GAT, didn't we? <clears throat> which is, but, which is a new toy, and I haven't really used my AK, um, Outside of when I went to Strike Force in Swindon and it lasted half a game because the mags were crap. Um, so we were trying out new kit and new loadouts. It was hot as hell. Although one of the main advantages with the social distancing rules for outdoor sports and activities in the place we went to is that the numbers were, were limited as well. Um, but again, with it being an outdoor site, it had overgrown slightly, so movement was cumbersome as well. So we had a, a, anyone <laughs> with anyone with hay fever as well. Uh, yeah. the, so we had a combination of fat and out of shape, new kit, heat, and obstructed line of sight due to grass. That was it's got to be at least two foot tall, wasn't it? It's got to be. It was up to my yeah, waist in places. Uh, yeah, I mean, to be honest, I mean, it, because it was so thick, you'd think, yeah. oh, people will be crawling through it. But because it was so thick, people was like, I'm not crawling through it. It's too <laughs> yeah. And uh, not to mention the fact, you know, being one of the first places locally, if you're not familiar, the Northwest, I think, has probably, from my experience, has probably one of the biggest airsoft scenes in the country. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to hold that up against um, down south. Um, the north of the country yeah. is probably really big on it in general. Um, so it was being one of the first few sites that were opening back up, um, and that are fairly close to urban areas, so to speak. A lot of people wanted in, and a lot of a lot of people who normally disperse converged on on the site. So it was it was interesting to say the least. Not many, no rentals 
of which is not surprising to be honest and um i think what we can go on to now grim is, is probably had to do an ad hoc review of the 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 echo one because uh, yeah, we both yeah, you, I mean, we, we both used we both it and straight off the bat it's safe to say well i'll, I'll let you i'll let you do your thoughts because i've done a lot of talking in this one i'll let you let you take over this particular bit all right then buddy well i found uh, you know, it's, it's, we we thought we filled it because it's a small gat and it was lightweight, didn't we? Yeah. And um, we thought, yeah, we'll you know, because it's a lightweight, it's going to be a hot day. You know, we got ourselves like five mags each. I even got myself a drum mag for it because <clears throat> obviously we're both used to running mags which hold a bit more than what the mags of the Echo One gat. It's basically a Tech Nine for anyone who's old school. Modern grease um, gun, I would call it. It's, it's, it's I feel yeah, like modern, modern grease, grease gun. gun. Kind of feel yeah, to... that's a very good, um, very good analogy of what it, it, it looks similar to. Um, you'll see it in a lot of like nineties um, movies as well. It, it's the Tech Nine, like the gangsters use it. It gets a bad rep because it was easily accessible to the um, the criminal underworld it's, during it's, that time. It's period. been a, it's been a airsoft product for a while now, though. Since twenty fifteen, looking back at videos, I've been, I was looking up on it though. It, There's it, been a few of them, but I think Echo One have just re released it, haven't they? All uh, right. Well, that would explain why it's. It, it was a bit of a resurgence, yeah. Anyway, carry yeah. on. So yeah, I, um, obviously, it was um, we weren't only just contending with a slight breeze. It was only a very gentle breeze, but obviously, we were, obviously, we were contending with not realizing that we still had a shorter barrel, and we were also contending with the foliage to fire through when the, when targets dropped dropped low. I mean, um, you. A target could be out in the open, and any time normally you just get them. Mm -hmm. But with the the length of the grass, they could just drop, and you wouldn't be able to hit them yeah. until they pop back up. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously, it's dispersal rate due to the shorter barrel. Obviously, it was plastering a, a larger area, so it wasn't as accurate at those mid to longer ranges. Obviously, because it's a short SMG. However, you know, it, it burns, it burned through a time. I would, on the first, first match, I had to draw my shotgun and my pistol. I went through all five of my mags as well, yeah. I went through all five of my mags, which are 250 round high caps and a 500 round drum mag. I mean, I've got, I've got an image and a, and a product description on the screen right now. Um, fires about 330 FPS. That was about right on the chrono. Yeah, um, yeah, about the same, yeah. It's a it's on a two very fives. on two five uh, on two fives yeah uh, it's a very short FPS at about thirteen inches in full length uh, it's polymer bottom metal upper um, it has it's basically the grips of polymer yeah the rest of it's kind of metal isn't it uh, unfortunately you had a bit of a uh... yeah I'll get into that in a minute yeah, yeah. Um, it's a f full auto semi auto selector although it's it's kind of like the Russian way of doing it it's back to front. <laughs> It goes to full off before it goes to Yeah, exactly. Mode. Yeah. Um, 250 round magazine capacity. One of the cool things you get in the box is you get two mags out of the box. That, that I did like about it. And a battery. And, and, and a battery. Yeah. Um, which is... which is uh, Magazines aren't even all that expensive. Um, no, the drum mags not. are about 35 quid, but that's... Um, and because the mags are all metal as well. Yeah. I mean, it's it's, it's according, according to the plastic. stat, it's only three and a half pounds in weight. So it's not. I, well, I was able to get a holster, wasn't I? And I was able yeah, to actually yeah. carry my holster. I, 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 the I'm, height and the heat even. I'm beginning to think I didn't press the right button to order mine. I'm going to go back and order it because I haven't seen it, anything. Man. I'm going to have to if get me do, one of them. If you are going, if you are going to, I might, uh, I might fire some cash across your way and order a leg, a drop leg as well. Uh, fair enough. That's so what I was going to go for. Up, the weight of it, yeah, the weight of it on on me rig is kind of pulling me rig to one side. Yeah. And I can't um, be bothered with the whole, oh, let's balance it out with a whole number weapon on the other side. <laughs> Walking around like a dreadnought <laughs> without the collar. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, so it, it's a nice, it's definitely a CQB gap, uh, riff. Definitely Most definitely. A CQB riff. Apparently you can get it in Chrome, according to this website we've got up at the moment. Oh, you um, can see that's definitely drug lords, isn't it? Yeah. It, it has a threaded barrel. I didn't know it has a very small Yeah, I third believe it does. Have a, you've got to get that little, that little um, nut off the end. front. Yeah. yeah, I thought it'd be threaded because I was like, I really wouldn't mind getting a longer battle in this and the suppressor on it. Yeah, I think I think a couple of people have done like a mod of that as well. 
like nah. getting a full length 16 inch barrel in it with and put it feed it through a suppressor which will, will increase its range but obviously diminish the whole point of the gun now the problem uh grimlock was um hinting to um let's try and get the video up. let's try and get a, a full picture up here if it'll let me it won't let me uh. And when websites don't work it right, has a dust cover. yeah, here we go. So it, ha it has behind a... the cocking handle. Yeah. So there's a dust cover here, as you can see, with the uh, the nub, that the charging handle, so to speak, on it. Now, I originally thought that is really flimsy. Anyway, it feels the... well, yeah, even the springs a bit. Yeah, it, it... Does, it does, it's a bit weak. The spring, I wouldn't mind replacing the spring and giving it a good, you know. Yeah, you've got, you've got you get like a little squeaky. Pull yeah, drawer on it, twang, little twang, like and um, yeah. I didn't mess about too much with it once I'd done the hop. Um, I no, left it. I, I don't mess. I don't really mess with it. I notice mine keeps getting locked back because it keeps getting yeah. caught. Mine, but but mine that's more snapped. Because I'm left-handed. Mine snapped with in the in the rear position. So my dust cover is currently. It. I can put. I can manually push the dust cover back but i can't use the charging handle for, for for like aesthetic reasons oh shit i've just ate my microphone um so that's kind of annoying considering i didn't knock it didn't drop it didn't do anything um it and it's part of the aesthetic it's kind it's kind of kind of a little bit annoying but other than that it's definitely a cqb weapon and it has and the batteries in the polymer front grip the plastic grip as well um, and it has a 20 millimeter rail on the top for, for sights, but I, I personally wouldn't Which do Which I have that. removed to make it's, mine look more classic. Yeah, you, you have removed. But it, if you're looking for something like an, a, a good secondary, if you're a sniper, or uh, looking for something different for CQB, then... It, uh, it, will, it will probably come out with me when I go, go sniping, actually. Yeah, and it's definitely, it's definitely a fun little gat, and it is called a gat, general assault tool. To, to to run with but it, it it failed miserably under the conditions we played on sunday um, it's definitely not an outdoor yeah. mid-range i mean we I, I got a good fair few kills but i really had to lever an, an area and like just i had to put weight of fire down and in hopes of something hitting I mean, because, it, does have, um, it does have a decent rate of fire, though. It, it, it's okay, considering how small Yeah, it's got it a really good rate of fire. That's why we've been through so much ammo. <laughs> Unfortunately, I had put my hop up, but I had, I had my gloves on, so I couldn't actually sit and adjust it, fine-tune it, mm -hmm. without taking my gloves off mid-game. And I'm like, I'm under fire, well, and I'm like, it's got, screw it, I'll it's just... It's not a radial hop, is it? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lever hop, No, it's a slide it? hop, like the AK style. Hop. Yeah, like you got in the G&G. &G. Yeah. yeah, so it's a little bit... A little bit fiddly to to mess about with if you're wearing if you're wearing a, gl a glove unless it's something like a mechanics glove or something. Uh, well, but... I could have flicked the uh, the fingertip off the glove, <laughs> but you know hindsight is twenty twenty, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I just realised I could have just flicked the finger point off because if my the, the fingertips the um the finger and the thumbs fall back yeah. on my Damascus gloves. What? All right, then here's here's the ultimate question about the Echo One Gat, right? Budget wise, it's fairly cheap um, for a decent CQB gun, I would say. Along yeah, the lines it... of the same kind of value as an Amoeba, which is like a Stubby Amoeba 001 or a 007, which we've got as well. You've got, is this a 007 you got or is it a 003? Grim? 00 whatever's, isn't it? It's, it's yeah. basically a Stubby M4 with like yeah. an MP5. So it's so around, it's around the, the same price as one of them, new out the box. Um, over the two, I'd probably go for an Ares Amoeba because obviously if you're, if you're playing one of the general platforms you're going to be using straight off the bat is probably an M4 platform anyway. Uh, reference back to our previous um, video. Hey, one second, Grimlock. Dominator Kids. I'm not repeating that word. <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it, dude. Uh, I'll just call you a dominator. That's that's probably the best thing I can call you right there. But welcome to the stream. Thank you for thank you for the follow. Where was I? Yeah, um, because because generally speaking, if you're starting out new and you're looking for a, for a budget M4, a CQB M4, a CQB M4. Have I just got two follows there? 
Oh, well, I'll, I'll bring it up in a minute. Uh, CQB riff. Um, the Amoeba will work because you can, you'll can you have one mag for like two or three platforms. The thing with the um, Echo, yes. Echo One Gat is that it's a specialized mag. It's an SMG mag, basically, it, as, as reference. It, it, yeah, and oh, it the only fit in that specific. Yeah, so yeah, so um, it's def it's board, definitely a niche riff. It's new. It's 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 funky. Um, it's it's different. Not a lot different, of people that own yeah. them, and and we're into that kind of kind of purchase every now and then, especially when it comes to pistols. I know I am anyway. Um, but yeah, yeah it's about, uh -huh. it's it's an interesting little gap, but it's definitely. Riff, sorry. Um, but it's definitely... Um, wow. Kif, uh, Kif120, thank you very much for the follow, dude. Appreciate that as well. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the podcast. Joining me with today is Grimlock. Welcome to the Shield World. Wel welcome to the Shield World, gentlemen. Exactly. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Spartans, what is your profession? Spartans, what is your profession? Oh, I've got to get that set up when we're doing this, haven't I? When I get a follow, yeah, we need, we need <laughs> I need that. some sound effects. I, I, I'm giving that to you as an order. Yes, sir. as your new commander. As my, as my new, my, as my new IC. Right, you are, boss. I'll get that sorted out. Well, thank you for the follow, dude. If you've got any questions about uh, what we use, uh, what we play, uh, where we play, uh, what we play with, our kit and our, our, our loadout. If you want to check out our channels. Uh, for the team, I'll link them now, but uh, feel free to uh, ask as many questions as you want. We'll be happy to answer them. Now, Carlos, I am not, I don't currently have the Twitch stream up, so if he asks any questions, I will, them read, here yeah, I, I will read them out. I'll read them out as part, as part of the uh, cheers, buddy. Part of the Discord. I'm just like, I'm hopping backwards and forwards on this because obviously. As 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 Carl asked me how my uh, lockdown is going, I'm currently a single parent at the moment, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so I'm playing tidy up after the baby has been a whirlwind through the living room and has just played with everything, hmm. and I mean everything. <laughs> we got we're, talk, we're, we're talking Duplo and Lego boxes as a mind uh, Lego blocks as a minefield, basically on soft skin. And I'm bare foot right now as well. Oh well, then you're really asking for it, aren't you? You're oh, I know. Yeah, I'm a sucker for punishments. Couple of couple of trains and match uh, matchbox cars waiting, just waiting to ambush you from the corner of the room. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, so Eco One, um, probably it's a niche gun. Probably get an M4 platform. Echo. Over Echo One. Why do I keep calling it Eco? Echo One, um, budget gun, uh, decent, good secondary for a sniper. Decent for CQB. Not an outdoor outdoor riff. Um, fun niche. It can be an outdoor riff, but don't expect to be accurately hitting things at yeah. range. I mean, we were. I could tell we were, the, the the BBs were dropping off, and there was a there was a, quite a big spread even at short range, wasn't there? Once you yeah, get out, once that, you got out to short of barrel as yeah, well. Once you get out to 10, 15, 10, even ten meters, you you were you were they were they were flying everywhere. Even with very little wind uh, on two yeah. fives, um, so if you're looking if you're looking for a, a CQB gun, it's great. But remember, it's specific mags for that gun. Uh, maybe an Ares and me would be better if you if you're running M4 platforms and you're looking for a CQB. But if not, you know, go go ahead, get your your Jack Precision Echo One General Assault tool, yeah, and buy yourself a load of the mags, yeah, like me and Bambi have, yeah, because yeah. obviously I will be using. Obviously, I've gone out and bought all these parts now. But I'll be using it for CQB. I'll, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah. It'll be in the rotation because I've got my MP, MP7, me Amoeba, obviously me pistols, me carbine kit. So, obviously, it'll go into the rotation. Mm -hmm. Same with me. I mean, it's like um, moving on to um, what we're, what was going to talk about for the next part is what our plans are now that everything has started back up. Um, just in case you were wondering, guys, uh, me and Grimlock run a airsoft team or squad called Spartan Airsoft, uh, based in the UK. Uh, we tend to do a monthly game where we just try and get everyone on board to come along, and we invite our friends and our associates and everything like that. So we'll be heading to the jail, which I think is probably one of our favourite sites um, to go to. 
uh, on the six. I just hope it's not as hot as last year. <laughs> Dehydration and heat stroke. How did you feel on the on on the on on the sat- Sunday evening after we played on last Sunday? It, it's a blur. Oh man, I was. I I, I didn't feel great. I felt like uh, I had it. I, I was hungover. A, yeah, a really I, I bad feel hangover. A hangover setting in. And I was sat there drinking the last of my beer going, this is a bad choice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't uh, it's just, but I wasn't that bad. I wasn't that bad. I think, actually, I was probably missing Jack because his grand, grandparents had him. And I was. Just, I think I was just missing Jack. Yeah. Yeah, I was just chilling. And, like, Reese had, uh, my son, he came out to play with us oh, as well. So one of his first games with us as well, wasn't it? Yeah, we well, well, yeah, one of his first games back into Airsoft. Um, yeah. I've just built him up a new play carrier and rig and everything. Mm-hmm. So if he starts being a pain in the ass and not doing it again, I'll be um, some some lucky bugger might be able to buy themselves a lovely nice fart and jump plate carrier <laughs> <laughs> with pouches, yeah, and yeah, loads of yeah. spare mags. Um, yeah, so yeah, I I felt I personally felt like I was hungover. I was. I know I know Swoop wasn't feeling tip top at the end of the yeah. day. And I think uh, I think Cerberus was feeling a bit. Bit out of it drained, well. and, and I know, I know. Stitch had said he was feeling absolutely chagged. Yeah, and it was, it was, it was, it was physic. It was, it was like a physical was sickness, quite, wasn't it? That, that I basically had. demanding through the day just to just to move through all that heavy foliage with your kit. I mean, several times, several of us doffed our plate carriers, just grabbed our pistols, dropped our rifle, yeah, and, and just, went and in with our pistols. Went, yeah. It's just like screw it. If if I run out of ammo, I'll die. If I get yeah. shot, I'm dead. I'll come back and get me gear. Yeah, I yeah, just, just, yeah. I was I was out of it for. Um, so I was so pretty much. You've made the decision for our next game at the jail, which is the 16th. Unfortunately, all places are are gone now for that. Um, if you were thinking of getting there, if you do play in the UK, uh, but there are other dates of. Oh, well, no, it is possible that some places may become shh, available as people shh, out. They're for our friends. Shh. We're not supposed to tell them that. <laughs> well, no, it's fair that everyone gets a chance to play, I know, isn't it? You know? I, know, I know. And if it, and if Swoop Serbs and Shadow are a bit too slow off the off the bat, and, and you know, but we've spoken to the site owners, and they did say they'll speak yeah. to Stitch if anything opens up because he's asked That's specifically. True. That's true. That's true. Well, uh, you no, know, if anyone else manages to get on board, then yeah, you know, well, we've decided. We've decided to do an overnight jobby, haven't we? <laughs> This yeah, one. this time we're going to stay overnight the Saturday night before we yeah. play on the Sunday. And we're not going to get too levered. I'll make sure of that. Because yeah. there's nothing worse than playing hungover. There was that poor bloke there on Sunday. Oh, wasn't there? God. Yeah. What, how far did he, he travel? 125 miles? 120 like... or 140 miles to come play up at the site. Oh, oh, and no. I went and took five because I just charged um, an emplacement with nothing but my pistol. Dropped three guys and got levered in the process. Look at me. I'm a distraction. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, wait, wait, the last guy we traded off. Mm. I took two guys down. The last guy saw me. As I saw him, we both let loose. Mm. But I'm still running at him as he let loose. So we both plastered each other, and I was just like, "Ah, oh, I didn't have a plate carrier to absorb all that." <laughs> bing, 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 nipple so, shots, lovely. So I went and I had um, a little lie down, and he he sat there, and he he was he was he was buggered. He was like. I'm so hungover. We watched the UFC last night, and I, I was like, "Well, there's your, there's your mistake right there." <laughs> yeah, I uh, went to bed at four AM. I was like, "You should have just stayed awake at that time." At that point, it took an hour and a half, two hour drive, and going to bed at four AM to get to the site. Oh no, I think I think he came, he came up the night before. I think. Oh right, well that's 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 a little before. bit better. That's a yeah. little bit better. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. You're catching the neighbours' dogs barking. That's all right. It's barking, and my dog sat here looking at the phone like, Ooh. "What's going on?" Ooh. I can yeah. see. Maverick, Maverick, yeah. what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing, Maverick? You can play. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um, we're doing an overnighter on Saturday. I'm actually playing the week before at a. Yeah, well, site. yeah. You've got the uh, that birthday game, haven't you? Uh, yeah, the uh, airsoft anonymous. They're good friends of mine, and uh, well, ours basically. We we talk to them quite a bit. Um, I, I've I've actually gone down when I went to play a skirmish at Sw- at uh, Swindon Strike Force with my brother. Um, of course, I'm friendly fire, who is also a guest of our podcast. Every now and then, he's a regular member. Uh, as and when uh, work dictates. 
Um, and uh, we went in, had a little chat with them. They're good people. Um, they they do a lot all around the country, uh, go to events, set up shop and everything like that. They, I think that they specialize in crazy-ass builds. Crazy-ass speed builds. I tried uh, a riff, which was a Toki Marui Dev Guru Delta, and it did something crazy like that. I wasn't saying that looked like the Mark 18. Yeah, 30 rounds a second. That yeah. is insane. Now, that's going back to our conversation, Rate of Fire versus FPS versus Duel, uh, which was our last podcast before the lockdown happened. Uh, I've already linked. No, 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 that was the one before the lockdown. Was it the, was it the one before the lockdown? It was the one, what, one before the one before. One before the, the one, one before that the one before. Something like that. Oh, right. Like, I don't our, know. La- oh, sorry, our last one was advice for new players. The one before oh, that, yeah, that was, was the FPS yeah. versus Jules. I've already linked um, the, the the channel that has the podcast on on YouTube in in the discussion. But uh, yeah, uh, let, I think okay. oh, I've got the dem- let me get the demonstration video up. Hold on. Yeah, fire I'll, that up. And I'll like, get like this. I'll it. get this up, and you guys, you guys can watch this because this is crazy. Uh, hold on, right? I'm about going to play it. You got any idea what you want to use kit wise for the jail? Well, I was gonna. I'm gonna bring. I think I'll just bring the amoeba and the gat again, and I'll leave it at that. I'm a shotgun. Yeah. I'm, I'm my TM shotgun. Oh, I don't, yeah. I don't want to. No I point bringing. I'm nosy at that for you as well, don't I? Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to bring I the big M4 cool. with me this time. Instead of the DTD adapter, yeah. there is a Battle Axe adapter and a Battle Axe drum mag. Ooh. I will link you to them later All right. in the chat. All right, so let's let's bring up the uh, this yeah. this this Delta video. Sorry, twenty six point seven rounds a second. Uh, I'm just going to play well, it now. Seven of a round. I, oh, he said it was important. He said it was important. Anyway. Um, I'm just going to play it now. So, uh, three, two, one. It's only a minute long. Three, two, one, play. The um, Tokyo Marie Delta. Tokyo Marie Delta, full yeah. auto, 26 rounds a second. Mm-hmm. 26.7. Oh, Even oh, says it. <laughs> every, every little helps. Right, here we go. Ready? Ready. Three, two, one. Holy <laughs> shit balls! Oh wait, I wasn't recording. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> Such a deadly uh, weapon. I, 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 I got it that time. Out. It's yeah. crazy, man. <laughs> That's what happiness feels like. <laughs> Listen and it'll call for speed. <laughs> Recoil TM 26 and a half, 26.7 rounds a second, people. That, that was just a, that was just mag dumping and it was a joy to fire. It really was. Uh, but yeah, a- 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 Airsoft Anonymous down south, down south. They uh, they specialize in some crazy stuff, and uh, and I think that must have been it. That 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 was a prototype. They said so. A TM Delta is what four hundred quid plus their oh, upgrade. God. So you're probably looking at an eight hundred quid gun before they put the accessories on top of the site. How many guns could you buy for that? Well, let's let's say you could get. Um, you eight, can buy a minigun for that, actually. You can get eight and a you half. Can buy a for eight and a half W E Glocks. You could. You know get... what? I actually do once. I do want a Glock seventeen for Pistol Club because a Glock eighteen is yeah. wasted. Two. You could get um, two Arthurian M sixteens plus under slung grenade launcher and a couple of muskets, probably. Um, you could probably get three G and G AKs. Uh, upgraded. Uh, you could probably get two of my, no, just under, yeah, two of my wind gun Mosin Nagan CO2 powered bolt action rifles. Uh, what else could you get? You could probably, you could get probably like two minimes. Two minimes. You could probably get a shitload of tack gear, 
boots, chest rigs, pouches, equip out loads of loadouts for 800. And that's just one gun. Just one gun. But, oh, I mean, I'm not a fan. I was, I had a, I had a TM, uh, Scar L, Scar H. And L, L, L sorry. Yeah, and, yeah the light. The light. Yeah. 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 Uh, and it, I wasn't a fan of recoil, but that would that was that was fun to shoot. That was that was a lot of fun to shoot, and it was light as well compared to the t- to the compared to the scar. Uh, so yeah, it it they they, they they is crazy mofos down at Airsoft Anonymous, and that's the game I'm going to it. I'm going to say the p word: red alert, paintball, on the 9th of August. <laughs> paintball, nah. Each to their own, guys. I mean, the the place we went to on Sunday is is, is a mixed site. Uh, yeah, there were uh, and... Power Rangers. I mean, paintball was there, <laughs> and we all we all we, we tend to tend to go into our own little corners, but everyone seems to get along. There's no snark. Yeah, but I mean, did you see the bright colors they had? I know. They were really, really. I mean, it looked like they just turned up off a motocross bloody <laughs> event. Uh, and a, the, 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 there's a little bit of. Is it? Is it? I mean, the beds are a bit like. Oh yeah, well, we won't go into that, that. one. With the, that one with the, the bluish pink hair. TOS, terms of service, terms of service. Keep it PG as best you can. Swear it's fine. Swear it is fine. But you know, yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> um, as far as I'm going, it, it's a mix. So this one I'm going to assume is an out. It's an outdoor mix site as well. Uh, so I'm looking forward to it. Actually, uh, it should be interesting. I'm doing an overnighter on that one again because I'm not driving three and a half hours to be nope. buggered all day. I don't mind driving back after a game for that kind of distance, but the night before, I think we've, I think I've learnt my, learnt my lesson. Yeah, because uh, uh, don't want to drive. Yeah, tired. Stupid, hour, stupid o'clock in the morning to yeah. then go and get some of the other lads because me and me and Carl are some of like the only drivers at the moment for yeah, our we're, team. We're 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 the uh, we are the uh, logistic support of our particular team at the moment. So uh, yeah, well, we're, we're not the only drivers, but obviously. There's um you no, know, there's other people we know who drive, but some of them aren't part of the team, or some of them um don't get out playing with us um as much as like when we go skirmishing. Some of the other lads in yeah. in the team are more milsim, so they'll go, but they they drive. Yeah, and they. Yeah, got, in fact, they got, actually, they they were then to they're at Sterling DC. the weekend we were at uh, uh, the yeah, site, weren't yeah. They? yeah. The uh, they were at the what was it the, the the trees? I think it was called the trees. Yeah. The trees. It's basically a, it's out in the woods, and it, it's really? it's not easy going. It's not as easy. It's and like like see um, Mill Simmons in like a CQB um, like a what's it a Fibua or Obua site isn't as isn't easy going, but it's much easier going than out in the woodlands. Mm. And this is just going off my experience army wise. And I was chatting to our teammates as well, and he was. He he just got him back and got him out the shower when he when I when I phoned them, <laughs> and he was knackered. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. we got we got a couple of guys who delve into uh, lots of different play. I mean, our main focus is just a skirmish day or battle scenes. Yeah, we got a couple. Of I, guys. I mainly focus, yeah. and I I can really only get out once a month due yeah. to family and everything. I mean, if I can get out more, I will. But a... you know, I don't expect anyone mm. to. You know, on the days that we are on the big events that we have, like, well, I say big events, on the days that we set, I don't expect anyone to have to turn up. It's not, a, yeah, not a, that, that's that's fair, obligatory. Play. that's fair play, yeah. Um, is that, is we've that got word, a, obligatory? obligated would probably be a better word, yeah. They're not obligated to, yeah, yeah obligatory. We've got, we've got a couple of guys who specialize in doing mill sims and, and they prepare for them, um, regularly. They, 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 um, they, but yeah, one of them was trying to get out to one of the skirmish sites today. Yeah. I did put that up in the chat. Yeah, and, but obviously um, we were all out last weekend. I think. And I to... we've even got um, a prospective team member, hopefully come. Well, a team member, hopefully who will come back. <laughs> uh, Moose, hopefully. Uh, oh, oh, hang on. What's this? What's this? No, no. Well, I, he's he's expressing interest in the sport again. So I just assumed, you know, with him, with him, you know, we've always said he was, well, he's welcome back. To Moose, he, what you, what, he's interested in the sport, but he doesn't want to come back to the team. Right. Okay. But you know, he's 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 he's, he's making grumblings about playing the speed QB side of the sport. So uh, as well. Well, so. he's definitely not coming back. To the team. <laughs> 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 ah, I think you'd say that. 
Oh, I've got that. power, man. I'm it's just gone to his head. It's gone to his head. Um, you know, the worst thing of all is, I joined the Spartans, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because I was fed up being a team leader of my own team, the Wolfpack at the time, because yeah. no one was like responding or like they weren't getting back to me and they were just fucking Yeah. It was just being lazy. I mean and fingers thing is now like what several of the Wolfpack have transferred over to the Spartans now. And yeah. basically are the main body of the Spartans mm. since yeah, <laughs> it's, it's and like, now, oh, now you're a team leader again. <laughs> and it's like, well, then I end up as two IC, and I was like, okay, I'm quite happy sitting there as two IC, doing the, you know, doing me two IC thing. I can do that. Now it's like, yeah, you're the boss man again. It's like, oh, for fuck's sake, but not for fuck's sake, because I'm quite happy about it. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think I'm more in the mindset again now because yeah. I wasn't in the mindset of being a team leader back when I first took us off back up again. Yeah, he just wants to play, and don't you? Me, yeah, but even even so, we were out Sunday. I was first out in this, with, with the new leadership and all that in yeah. place. Nothing could really changed. We, we played like we always played. Yeah, pretty much. All right. Um, we're coming up probably to the threshold of how long I want I want to keep these podcasts going. So I'm going to – we're going to end with um, – we've already stated our the team, my, my plans for August, the team's plans for August is the jail. Um, if you haven't played there – and you play airsoft in the UK, would thoroughly recommend that. Um, but so our, open the grand fun. Yep, yeah, and uh, our plans for September is uh, a first time. Uh, our first time going to West Midlands airsoft. Yes, uh, I'd like to take the team to West Midlands. Yes, yeah, so uh, maybe a Saturday or it may be a Sunday, but we need to decide on that. And we'll decide on that after we play the jail, or we yeah. can decide on that between yeah. the run up. I want to make sure. Well, the thing is, I just want to make sure everyone's set yeah. for the jail before we start thinking elsewhere. Of I mean, course, of course, yeah. yeah. Well, I think we're pretty much all ready to go for that now, aren't we, thanks to... Yeah, I mean, I know, I know, what, what, sort of I know what weapons I'm using, I know what yeah. kit I'm using. Exactly. So, so yeah. um, from that standpoint, if you're interested in joining us in West Midlands Airsoft and saying hello... Um, you want to, what you want to do is, if I bring up the, where is the team Facebook? Or if anyone's listening to this who actually is going to make it to the jail on the 16th. Yeah, come and say hello to us, definitely. We, we had, we had peeps, um, approach us last Sunday. Yeah. And, um, I'm just asking general questions and one of the lads noticed I had the same, um, Afarian weapon as him, the Crusader. Yeah, which is the M16 with underslung 203. Yep. And uh, yeah, I mean, he, he's he's added me on Instagram. And he, he's been asking me a few questions. He's like, I'm really sorry to bother. I was like, it's not a bother, buddy. It ain't uh, a bother. Was, he was asking about my uh, my uh, foregrip because he says um, my angled foregrip. He says um, a lot of the, the little uh, weird triangular one. Yeah, because he's got long I'll arms. Yeah, one of them if you want it. Next time I see him, I'll tell him. He's got long arms and he can't use the uh, the, the like the, the proper stubby was- stubby grips. Yeah. Uh, and he said, "Why do you use it?" And basically, just said because it's more comfortable in the hand. You can wrap your hand around the barrel, round round the rail. Uh, you've got mm. you got your thumb that's, stop see, as that's well. That's why I prepared the hair arms for grip myself. Well, yeah, yeah. It's it's kind of it's the same thing. I'll, I'll drop him a message in a bit because I've right. got one there which I don't use anymore. All right. So I'll just I'll, I'll just say to him if he wants it, I'll pass it to him next time I see him. I'm just going to link the team's Facebook page in there. We generally yeah. Put up um, everything. If you've got any interest in, in coming on playing alongside of us anytime, it's an open group free. as well. So feel free to ask yeah. for an invite. We'll we'll always we'll always post our videos, our plans, and everything in there. Uh, if you see us about, um, you know, and you and you're familiar, we look scary, we're, but we're actually just teddy yeah, bears. Yeah, come and say hello. Uh, we're happy to give us give advice as best as possible, either here on the podcast, in the comment vid, comments of our videos, or even just. Uh, a post on our page we're happy we're happy to help i mean we've all got various levels of experience in airsoft ranging from a couple of months with uh, the prospective team members and um a couple a good few years um so yeah feel free to ask questions in the podcast or in the comments videos or come and see our facebook page i've just linked there before we end it here i'd like to just say thank you to my two new followers dominator and kiff 120 thank you guys for following during this podcast mm-hmm. just to let you know me personally i that this is predominantly a gaming channel as well so i do play video games on this so hopefully i get to see you there. very badly 
very badly, but entertainingly at least. Yes, uh, yes. So hopefully I'll get to see you guys there. Just a quick I, shout out I to... I self on there every now and again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a quick shout out to everyone who's currently hosting the stream right now. Carol Live, Kung Fu Lemonade, Bayern Erkshman, Streamers Unified, Gollum, Elena and Caber TV. Thank you very much for the host, guys. You've you been guys. awesome for this time. We have just hit the 40 minute mark here in the podcast. So I am going to do a quick outro. Grimlock, thank you very much for joining me mate, and making it entertaining Anytime. as always. Guys, our next podcast will be in or- the end of August where we'll be talking about the game at Red, Red Alert Airsoft, the game at the goal, and hopefully we'll be talking about uh, something a bit more structured. This is a bit of an off-the-cuff one. Uh, well, you could, could, could do... Um... Kit and equipment or something like that again. Yeah, I mean, I've been putting look, that one for a while. Yeah, kit, kit and equipment again. Hopefully, we'll be joined by a few more team, team members yeah, and a few I'm more guests. Luck. Thank you very much for joining us again, guys. This will be going up YouTube probably sometime in the midweek. And hopefully, you can come back and listen to this and ask questions in the comments section, of course. I've been Spartan by me. He's been Spartan Grimlock. Thank you very much for joining us. And until next time, take care. Bye, guys.